Previously on Sparky and Mauve. Sparky and Mauve are at it again, this time investigating the mystery of the Phantom Kid. After exploring the haunted house and seeing the ghosts for themselves, our heroes interviewed other witnesses who have seen the Phantom Kid on the property. Then they met Sarah Graves, the owner of the house who told Sparky and Mauve that her son has been missing ever since the haunting began. Okay, Mob, with all the new developments in this case, I think it might be helpful to recap the evidence to see where we stand in this investigation. Great idea, Sparky, because honestly, I don't even know what to believe at this point. Me either. With all the weird stuff going on around here, it might be helpful to just lay out the facts. So, Mr. E States hired us to investigate an alleged haunting at the house he is trying to sell. Right, when we showed up, the place looked pretty spooky got even spookier when we investigated the house and saw the ghost for ourselves. Ghost known as the Phantom Kid. We also found this photo inside the house. It was weird because the kid's face is scratched out. I think that face might belong to the Phantom Kid. Me too. And then, not moments ago, Sarah Graves shows up and she owns this house. Yeah, her son is missing. How sad. Exactly, her son Oliver is missing. And if we look at this photo and the missing poster side by side, I think it's safe to assume that the kid in the photo is the same kid in the missing poster. He's even wearing the same outfit. But I thought the kid in the scratchy photo was the phantom kid. He is, don't you see, Mom? Oliver is the phantom kid and Sarah Graves is his mom. But I thought Oliver was missing. He is. But we found him. Well, almost found him. We still have to find him. But is he really a ghost? I'm skeptical. But we don't have enough evidence to know for sure yet. Okay, well, how are we gonna find him? I have an idea. Rusty and Priscilla said they saw the Phantom Kid in or around the woods. He's been spooking people at the house, we know that firsthand, but he seems to always return to the woods every time he's finished scaring visitors. So we don't know if he's a ghost or not, but what I'm hearing you say is that we need to investigate them there woods. Them there woods? You're sounding like Mr. E States now. I think the country life is rubbing off on you, Mav. <sighs> Must be that fresh pine air. So much better than the can find air. I hate to say it, but I think we're gonna have to go take a hike. Ooh, yay! get this in the city. <sighs> Almost makes you forget all about that ghost stuff, huh? Almost does. Wow. Just wow. I'm starting to understand why people like it out here, Moth. Something special, that's for sure. All right, let's get going. Gotta be close to finding out something about this phantom kid. I don't like this, Mav. I don't like it one bit. What? Hiking? No, not hiking. Come on. You know me, I love hiking. Running, even. What I don't like is hiking in this freaky forest. Freaky? There's nothing freaky about it. It's just full of nature stuff. Ah! What was that? A bird, I think? Right, of course. Ah! 
Oh, what's that? There, there, there. It's a squirrel, Sparky. Mm. Uh, what squirrel? I don't see a squirrel. Well, you probably scared it away. Come on, you love squirrels. Not spooky squirrels. Hey, Sparky, check this out. What is it? Oh, great find, Mom. What is all this stuff? These look like costumes. I think this might be exactly what we're looking for. Look, snacks and clothes. <gasps> Makeup. Do you think this all belongs to the Phantom Kid? I mean, it has to, doesn't it? It's not like your average hiker would be carrying Halloween decorations in the middle of summer. Good point. Gotcha. Mom, come on. This is serious business. I know, I know. I just couldn't help myself. I mean, good work, though. I think this is the Phantom Kid's mask. Well, one of them. Uh, it's not quite as scary <laughs> when it's by itself. Nope. In fact, it's kind of silly looking. Whoa, what's this? I think it's a diary. What does it say? Uh, property of Oliver Graves. Oliver Graves, isn't that? Yes, it's the missing kid, who we think is the Phantom Kid. I think this may just be the breakthrough we need, Mav. Oh, I knew this hike was a good idea. You were right. Come on, let's go back to the house. Uh, this fort is even creepier than the haunted house. Who dares intrude upon my sacred ground? Marky, don't turn around. What is it? Is it, is it the Phantom Kid? Ah!